Hi, I'm Jim Tootin, and for the next two stops, I will be your guide as we talk about three things I love, arts, architecture, and my specialty, the Civil War. The murals you see were commissioned by the Huntington County Arts Council with support from the Borough of Huntington. They were created by two Philadelphia mural artists in 2008, Philip Adam and David Gwynn. Both are well-established mural painters in the Philly area. Philip holds a Master of Fine Arts from the University of Pennsylvania, and David graduated from Columbia University. The privilege of being a professional artist is that you get to draw on the walls. The artists were inspired by the cliffs. The cliffs offer a sweeping, tranquil view of the Juniata River as it cuts through the mountain towards Petersburg and Alexandria to the west. It's a spectacular way to enjoy nature right in your own backyard, at least until a train rolls through. People picnic at the cliffs, rappel down their sides, and every once in a while, get engaged. Look closely at the murals. You'll notice that each has a paper tablet hiding somewhere. That's not just for journaling purposes. We'll leave you to scratch your head about that for a while. All you need to know for now is that the Arts Council specifically requested that those tablets be included. The paintings of one of the Juniata Valley's most famous artists are now found in both the Juniata College Museum and the Huntington County Historical Society. They once hung in a much less classy place, a barber shop. Scenes of Huntington's early pioneer days were painted by John Chaplin, who could cut your hair and paint a landscape better than most men could do either. His brother Levi was more well known for his fighting than his painting. Levi liked to stir up some trouble. One night, after he had enjoyed himself a little too much at the tavern, he stole a local man's horse and rode the poor thing to death. Levi also fought for a living during the Civil War. He was enlisted with the 6th Regiment of the United States Colored Troops. The 6th saw action in the bombardment of Fort Fisher in North Carolina and helped occupy Raleigh. When Levi wasn't in combat, he rode home to keep everyone posted on how he was doing. His most memorable letter was a thank you note to some ladies for a care package they sent him. What was in it? Delicates for the soldiers. Later in life, Levi Chaplin chose to leave Huntington because of racist threats he received. He fled to McVeigh Town, but was run out of there by the Ku Klux Klan. Chaplin spent the rest of his life in Ohio, living low key. A lot of very talented people have had their start here in Huntington. We'll talk about two more of them at our next stop. Join me, won't you?